One of the concepts that's more central to pretty much any graphics platform is the idea of transformations. These are mathematical operations that are applied to something, a, a shape or some aspect of a graphical drawing that alters it in a particular way, generally uh, geometrically. And you can apply transforms to pretty much everything inside of Scala FX. In the API, there is a package, scalafx.scene.transform, that has a number of different types in it. And the transform object has methods that can be used to create the different transforms. Now you'll notice one here is called affine. And in general, the transforms that you're working with are what are called affine transforms. And an affine transform is one in which parallel lines remain parallel. So turns out the things that you can do to a to you know, some image geometry whatever where parallel lines remain parallel you can rotate it you can scale it you can shear it and you can translate it and it turns out any combination of these is also an affine transform what can you do these things to well it turns out that's pretty broad because the node type and basically everything that we can stick in a scene is a node has methods on it that allow you to do this. Actually, if we cut this down a little bit, and this won't cut it down too much. Node has a lot of methods defined inside of it. But there is a method for rotate, and you can set the rotation. You can also set the axis that it rotates about. You can set the scale on a node you can set the translation on a node and you can also set the transforms and the transforms allows you to apply multiple different transformations from that transforms package so to help illustrate this what I want to do is I want to create a little program <clears throat> I've already copied over our template here So I'm going to import the transform package so that we can work with it. And I'm going to import two things here from the scene package. One is the scene, another is a group. Because we're also going to illustrate one of the significant capabilities of the scene graph in Scala FX. So What I want to do is I would like to add a number of parallel lines and then show how we can apply these transforms to those parallel lines to get the uh, you know, to, to see what they look like. Okay, so what is it that these transforms look like? And in order to help illustrate this, I'm going to use a group. So it turns out a group is something that can hold multiple nodes inside of it. Now we've seen layouts that can hold multiple nodes, but layouts kind of apply their own changes to, to stuff. They move them around. The group doesn't. The group is just a way of, of grouping things together so that you can put different groups inside of the scene. And when you manipulate the group, everything inside of the group changes. Now the group that I want to build is actually a fairly simple one. We'll call it make lines and it's going to return a group to us. So we're going to make a new group and we can pass it all the things that we want inside of here. Now what do I want inside of here? I want two parallel lines and because as I said the affine transforms are transformations where two lines that initially start off parallel wind up being parallel and so that makes a good way of illustrating this. And I'm going to have one of those lines be off to the left of the origin. So we'll go 50 pixels off to the left and it will start 50 pixels above. And then it will stay off to the left, but just go down. That's our first line. And then we're going to make another line that where the X values are both 50, but the Y values go from negative 50 to 50. So that makes a little group with two lines. And I put this into a function because I intend to use it several times. 
So let's go ahead and let's call that to get a first set of lines. Make lines. And for the content, I'll start off by putting in a lines one there. Okay. At this point, I'd like to run this, see if we're happy before we've applied any transform, see if this does what we're expecting it to. Clearly, I have, oh, I am missing something in here. Not found, wow. Oh, nope. <laughs> Maybe I'm not missing something. Maybe I just to, forgot to type in Scala FX. Yep, that appears to be the situation here. Okay, so I have a little bit of a line here. The way that we created these lines, there's a full line that's off outside of the frame, and then another line that sticks halfway up above. So actually, this is what we were expecting to get. Now I would like to move those lines so that they are more in the drawing. And so remember, there are <clears throat> four types of affine transformations. The simplest of which is just to translate it. So I could take this and have the lines and I could set the translates, the translate X and the translate Y separately, or I can just set the transforms on this to be a list. And in this case, the list is just a single element. Transform, which we're getting from the transform package, dot translate. And I want to move this over 100 pixels and down 100 pixels. Now if we run it again, I should, that needs to be lines one. You can see that now those lines, which we had previously only seen the lower half of this line, They've been moved over and down, so they're completely inside of our view. Okay, let's copy those lines and paste them and demonstrate another one of the possible transforms. So I'm going to translate over, I don't know, how about 300. And then I also want to apply a different translation here. How about for this one? we do a rotation. Now, when you rotate, you have to pick how many degrees you want to rotate. 45 is nice. I guess I could go 90 and then they'd appear uh, to be horizontal lines instead of vertical lines. But 45 should have a nice visual effect. And then you have to specify what location you're rotating about. Now, these lines were originally kind of centered around the origin. 0, 0. And so if I rotate about 0, 0, that will just take them, rotate them off to the side without really moving them around much. If you rotate around something that's not the center, things will actually shift around quite a bit. Oh, and before we run that, I should add that second one into the scene. So this set of lines has been translated over 300 and down 100 and then rotated 45 degrees clockwise. As you can kind of tell from this, if you took those two and pushed them around 45 degrees clockwise, you would get this other image. Okay, so that's two of our affine transformations. What are the other two? Well, one is a scale operation. So instead of calling rotate, we'll call scale. And scale takes two arguments, how much to scale the X and the Y. I'm going to make these smaller. So I'm going to scale it down by a factor of two, so down to a half in both X and Y. This will be lines three. Let's add it into our scene. And I also need to change the translation so that it's in its own location. Run that. It's just like these two, but shrunk down by a factor of two down here. Okay, so that's the scale. So we've done translate. In fact, we've translated all of these. Rotate and scale. And the last one is shear. And shear is probably 
the one that people find to be the least obvious of the transforms. So I'm going to put this one at 300, 300, and then we're going to do a shear. The shear also takes two values, which is how much to shear in X and how much to shear in Y. And these should be fractional values. How about I, I'm gonna leave the X at 0.5, which actually is quite a bit of shear, and the Y at 0.2. And we'll see what that looks like. Oh, except I did not add that into my So we run, and you can see that my in the x direction they've been pushed over quite a bit because I sheared them uh, by a factor of 0.5, and then the line over on the left is a little bit higher than the line on the right, and that's because I also did a shear in y. So these are our four affine transformations, and you can make any combination of these. And the thing is, this method, the transforms, as well as the individual methods for rotating and scaling, are available on all nodes. Well, it's a little bit weird. Technically, you could take like your list view and apply some transforms to it. Uh, you could make a list view spin around uh, if you were so inclined. I don't think there's probably a good reason for you to do that in your GUI, but it's something that ScalaFX has the capability to do if you should ever find a reason why it's useful in your program.